Hello, this is Rashida. My today's topic is histogram. Uh, I made a video on histogram before, which was pretty really basic. And today I'm going to show you some advanced options like histograms with multiple variables and histograms with uh, categorical variables, which is going to be very interesting if you haven't seen it before. All right, let's start. Import pandas as PD and import matplotlib dot pipod um, as PLT. Okay, I am going to use that famous enhanced data set. Uh, read CSV uh, enhance twenty fifteen. 2016.csv. You may uh, ask that why I'm using this old data set 2015-2016. Simple reason is I have this data set and it's very good for practice. So let's see the head, df.head, the first five rows of the data set. So here is the first five rows of the data set. You can see the data set is pretty big. But don't worry, I'm not going to use the whole data set. We don't need that. Uh, data set that columns. You can see the column names here. Uh, it may look a little bit of a little bit scary because these uh, column names uh, they're pretty obscure. But don't worry, uh, these column names uh, we're not going to use all of them. So whenever I use a column, I will explain it. So. I will start with a very basic histogram just to uh, remind you what that is if you need it, if you need a refresher. So I will use this column first. It's systolic blood pressure. So, oh no. Uh, yeah, systolic blood pressure dot plot dot hist you see this is what systolic blood pressure looks like uh, the distribution looks like uh, if you have seen my video before I uh, uh, I never like this default size I always like to use my own size fixed size yeah I like my um, plots a little bit bigger beans then fix size of that then plt dot uh, x label um, systolic blood pressure then plt dot title distribution of systolic blood pressure and PLT sorry PLT dot show this is the plot it looks a lot nicer right so the basic uh, histogram and basic plot plotting video is done now let's move into the histograms with multiple variables so I will use these three variables it's uh, population weight, height, and BMI, body mass index. Let's see. So this is the data frame, okay? So what I'll do, I'll just grab it. Just grab and then plot dot hist. And let's just grab, I'll just copy and paste this one. I try not to type too much um, 10 okay uh, and plt dot show here it is looks nice right uh, but there is a problem looks like they're overlapping here and there so use an alpha parameter alpha 0 0.6 that will give some transparency 
So it's a little bit transparent, so you can see where it's overlapping. Uh, but still, probably it will be good to have each individual frame for each individual histogram, right? So for that, just I would use this plot function, just hist function. So here is the individual frame, the individual plot. Okay, but I probably should change the size of the plot because we need even bigger. Okay, I'll make it bigger than these grids. I will get rid of these grids. Grids false. Uh, not grids, actually, grid. Uh, all right. And also, if you see this, all the bars are touching each other. Instead, if there's a little space in between, it will uh, give it a light, nice view. R width 0.8. Okay, it will give a little space in between. Here is this. This is this is I think this it looks a lot nicer, right? And just look at this. Here I have the 50 to 200. This one is 220 to 60, the range. The ranges are different. Even the ranges are a little bit different in y-axis as well. So for this height, weight, and BMI uh, plot, probably it's okay. But if if you want to uh, compare, if you are uh, doing this side by side histograms to compare all the variables, all the distributions with each other, in that case, it will be helpful if you have the same range in x-axis and y-axis, right? So here is how to do it share x when you put share x when you set share x it's true that means all the x axis they will be the same range and share y true yeah look at it they're same so be because they're same all the, uh, so you can see the difference pretty easily, easily right? Uh, just by look at it, you can see that this one has the biggest range. This one is centered uh, in the, this upper range. This one is centered around the lower range. All right. Uh, so, but here, this y-axis. Uh, takes the labels they're not showing because both of them are same so you have this one so this one is not showing by default and x-axis ranges are also same so because this one is showing this one is not showing uh, i will show in my later plot how you can actually manipulate or work on each individual plot and if you want to put uh, the labels here how you can do it in my next plot, I will show you some more techniques for that. So now I will jump into the categorical variables. You have got columns again. So these are the categorical variables. So I will use this one, housing size. Okay, housing size. So I will show you uh, how housing size affect the systolic blood pressure okay for that df dot haste column okay i'll just copy it by by this housing size i will probably grab some of this from here alpha grade falls are with okay this is how it looks like 
all the distributions look pretty similar, right? They look pretty similar because look, the x and y axis ranges are different. Obviously, going, we need to probably uh, make them same. X and y axis. If you make them same, you will see the difference, how the distribution changes. This is the place where you really want to compare, right? Because that's what we are doing. We are, ch we are just trying to see how much this asystolic blood pressure changes for different housing sizes. We have seven different housing sizes, one, two, three, four. Uh, so seven different uh, sizes of houses. A PLT dot show. And yeah, now the you can see how it's different, right? All the uh, shape of the distribution. This one has the highest uh, bars, and these ones, the bar size is so small. And by uh, I I probably need to change the figure size here. I will do 10 by 30 and also by default they are all uh, this we have three histograms per row I want to change that by layout okay, we have seven plots so I will put seven by one so it's going to be seven rows and one column so each histogram will have its own row all right. Yeah, now each histogram has its own row. I don't know if you like it, but I'm liking it. It's not bad. Sometimes it's helpful. Okay. Now, if you look at it, um, this, we have only one text because all of them are same. So by default, only one, the last one, is showing the labels, x-axis label. The rest of them are not showing. So I'm not liking it. We need to have all of them, right? And at the same time, these boxes, I'm not liking the boxes. We'll get rid of this left, right, and top. We'll just keep the bottom one, okay? For uh, x in ax okay just make it ax equals x in ax so we are going through uh, all the plots one by one so that this is the iteration x dot spines uh, right dot set visible false Now right, I want to get rid of the left as well, and top as well, okay? So this, this, and this I'm getting rid of. Just check how it looks like. Yeah, we got rid of all of them. So look, we have all the almost spineless histogram right now. <laughs> It's fine if the histograms are spineless. They don't need too much spines. Okay. Now, um, uh, also, I wanted to have the tick labels for each histogram. X tick label. So, x dot tick. Mm, no, tick params, actually. And then, axis both okay a label bottom on yes now we have all of them have the labels oh this one has a rotation we don't need that unnecessary rotation i'll get rid of this uh, so i x dot tick x is x and 
permutation zero. Yeah, no, no rotation here. We got rid of the rotation. Uh, one last thing I want to do that is look at this bar. If you want to know the estimate, what is the value of this bar, you have to go all the way here, right? Yeah, draw a line to here. And uh, if you do not draw a long line just in on eye estimation, it is not so easy to estimate how far it is from this 50, right? So if we have some horizontal grids, uh, horizontal grids, that will be much helpful, right? Wells, x don't get. Mm, y ticks. Okay, we got the y ticks. So now go to for uh, v in wells x dot ax h line horizontal lines y equals v line style. Uh, I will put solid if you like dashed, you can do that. Oh solid and then color gray alpha 0.1 I want very uh, light very yeah these are the lines oh now it made 1000 unnecessary 1000 range we don't need that right because we have hardly 230 300 or even less than 300 uh. yeah so i will make uh, plt dot ylim zero and 280 280 should be enough yeah they became bigger again the range Okay, look, now it's far easier, right? When you want to estimate this, the value of this, you can see how far it is from 50. It's probably 45 or 48, something like that, right? Very close. All right, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you think it's helpful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you soon.